I've been using Darknet to train artificial neural networks. I've been using Alexi AB fork of the popular Darknet software. And Alexi AB has another software tool called uh, YOLO Mark, which is used to mark up images uh, so that you can use them afterwards for training. Uh, but I had some ideas on a tool that could also load an artificial neural network to make marking even better. Uh, basically, the, the tool just assists you in doing the marking. So that's what I've been working on. And it uses Darknet and Dark Help, so I called it Dark Mark. Uh, and it now actually supports multiple neural networks, which we can see here as tabs at the top. So I'm going to load this first one here. Um, I went around the neighborhood and took pictures of uh, some Canada Post mailboxes around the neighborhood. So let's launch that. So these images have already been tagged, or al already have markup. Um, I can press the letter B, and then uh, they will show up in bold. You can see the difference here, which makes it easier to see. Um, there's 17 classes. Class 0 is the lock, and then the number is 1 through 16. So it's a very simple network. And if we go to... Uh, if we go far enough in this image set, we're going to find images that haven't been marked yet. So let me actually skip to the end by pressing the end key. There we go. So because this tool uses the existing or the, the neural network that was previously trained, it can make predictions as to where the marking needs to go. Uh, and you can see all of that here. Uh, and most of them are at 100%. There's a few here, especially the ones that are truncated that are less than 100%. Uh, we can accept all these predictions uh, in the menu here, right mouse click, and you can say accept. Or uh, with the keyboard, we can press the letter A. And there you go. All these predictions have now been accepted. So one thing I'm going to do uh, is get rid of the ones that are so small that I would not normally have marked them and the ones that are truncated as well. I wouldn't have marked these. Number nine I'm going to keep because most of the number is showing. Um, if one is wrong, let's say this one had been identified as five, then just by clicking on it to select it and then pressing a, um, either one of the numbers at the top of the keyboard or the numeric keypad, you can change that to whatever you want. So I can go through here and turn it to number six. Uh, let me delete a few and then show you something else. If something repeats often, like in this case the locks that are repeated so often, if you select one, make it exactly the size you want, make it the class you want, then when you start double clicking afterwards it'll just repeat the same size and repeat the same class. So you select your first lock and then double click through all of them. It makes it really easy to mark up images that way. Um, once you've marked up some images, it doesn't even have to be all of them, you right mouse click and you say create darknet files. So the first few times you want to train a network with darknet, it can be a little bit confusing uh, to deal with all of the files that need to be created. Uh, this does it all for you. Uh, so you tell it where Darknet is, and then it'll go and use the YOLO v3 CFG file as a template, and it'll make the modifications uh, that you specify here. Like here I'm telling it 85% of the images are to be used for training, meaning the other 15% are used for validation. You tell it the number of iterations, so on and so forth. When you click OK, it'll go through and use only the images that have been marked up. The ones that you haven't marked yet, it'll just ignore. That way you can uh, start training your network really early uh, before you've gone through and marked up all your images, which might take hours and hours. What else? You can, uh, there's a number of things you can do. You can change the appearance of the labels. You can change the sort sorting. Uh, there's a little bit of statistics that's shown as well. And then let's go back to the launch at the beginning there. 
when you first train a neural network, or not when you first train, but every time you train a neural network, at every 1,000 iterations, it'll output a weights file. You don't typically use these weights files. You normally only use the underscore final, underscore best, underscore last, something like that. Uh, so the default is to hide all of the ones that you typically wouldn't use. That way you can just pick between the ones you want. The whole thing is open sourced, MIT license. Anybody can use it the way that they want. You can download the source code. Uh, if you have uh, modifications to it or you have suggestions as to how to make it better, then let me know.